Kathy, what are the guidelines for determining if it's really a manifestation of a child's disability? IDA, which is the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, a federal law, has specific guidelines that the school must follow uh, when determining whether or not it's a manifestation. And I'm going to read the guidelines um, exactly as the federal government writes them. So if the first one is, if the conduct in question was caused by or had a direct and substantial relationship to the child's disability, or if the conduct in question was the direct result of the school district's failure to implement the IEP. 